guys, Wayne from Luna's World. Hope you're well. And if you remember, I did a video probably about two months from the time of this recording um, sharing with you how I get the rumbling effects underneath my seat. Um, and the solution that I had at that time was the Retcon amp and a Retcon bass shaker. That's still an excellent way to go. Um, I really like that system. I now use it in conjunction with what I have in front of me now. And that came about because one of my uh, viewers said I should check out a piece of software called SimShaker. So I did. And basically what that software does is that it enhances the sounds um, of particular actions that work within X-Plane 11. So things like retracting the gear, things like turbulence, things like, um, you know, obviously touching down. Any time where you've got a major movement in the aircraft or something like flaps retracting, um, the sound is enhanced. And um, then, of course, when you, when you use that in conjunction with the sound module um, and the Retcon bass speaker, it emphasizes those sounds and, of course, they vibrate more. While researching that, I came across this uh, product here. This is by a company called Game Tricks, and it's their Jet Seat. Um, and this actually provides um, more detailed, even more detailed uh, vibrations um, through the use of that software. They're actually two separate companies, um, so I want to make that clear. But uh, I got in touch and they sent me one to try out and to review. So here it is, this is the Jet Seat Turbo Jet. And um, let's just unbox it. Um, I have to say, this isn't the first time I've unboxed it. I have been using it for a while and um, I'm really, really impressed with the results. Um, for the price, I think it's so worth getting one of these if you want to take your sim to the next level of immersion. Now here it is, it's basically a pad. Let me just get it out here. You get, uh, obviously you get some drivers, you get some uh, um, instructions, and you get the actual unit itself, luckily. So let's have a look at this. So what it is, it's a, a seat pad that goes on your seat um, like that. And then these areas here, so you've got two areas here, two areas here, um, and two areas here, I believe. Now these are motors basically and they give different vibration effects depending on um, what's happening in the aircraft. So that straps around the back of your seat there and there's a strap underneath here where it secures it all together. Um, and let me just say this is extremely comfortable just to sit on. You, even though there's motors in here it doesn't feel uncomfortable at all. Um, and that's obviously without even talking about what it does um, to the immersion. It's just a very comfortable pad. Um, to sit on. So obviously the whole reason is that these motors vibrate and shake, like I said, depending on what the aircraft is doing. And it gives you the sensation um, that obviously the aircraft is experiencing certain things and it does it extremely well. Um, so um, let's see. So what you have to do is, here's the, uh, the pack. So obviously you plug that in um, to your socket and then it plugs in via USB. You also have the option to plug it in via the audio cable. Um, I tried both. Um, you, you probably get a little bit more output with the audio cable, but you don't get the definition. So this um, it has more control basically when you plug it in directly to USB and it links with the software. Uh, whereas this will just vibrate um, in terms of whatever's coming out of your speaker. Um, they both work, but I would say my preferred um, method is the USB. It gives you a higher fidelity experience in my view. So you've got an on off switch here. You've got an intensity sort of volume um, level, if you like. You've got different modes here. Now you can also use this as a general massager. You know, if you're doing long stints um, in an office or, you know, like me, if you're flying a lot, and then I also do office work, it's, uh, it comes with software where you can actually set up a, a fairly pleasant, a very pleasant uh, massage at the same time. So obviously that's kind of a, an added bonus. The main point of this is to use it with games and uh, specifically with X-Plane 11. It, it also works with DCS World um, Prepared and um, obviously X-Plane. And uh, it comes with a demo actually, um, a tank demo, which I haven't tried, but yeah, 
like I said, using it with X-Plane is absolutely superb. Now, there's one thing you have to be a bit careful of. Um, you have to make sure when you plug this, this into the actual seat, make sure that you have these arrows lined up. Um, I didn't notice that, and I just sort of plugged them in roughly where they were. And in doing that, I broke one of the pins, um, which is a real pain. It still works. Um, and what I've done is I've just put the pin back in and then I've um, put it back together again. I'm probably just going to take this up so that it never comes off again, ever. Um, but yeah, just be aware of that. Um, that's, uh, I'm not a fan of pin sockets because they, they do break quite easily. Um, however, if you make sure you line up the two arrows, you're not going to break it. Just be careful with it. Um, I'm a bit of a klutz. So, so there we go. So um, I'm going to show you some uh, footage of um, me using this. Um, it's very hard to portray you know, what I'm experiencing. But let me tell you that this adds another level to your gaming experience. It really does. It, uh, it just brings the cockpit alive. Obviously, I use this in conjunction with um, VR and the, the, the overall experience is, is truly amazing. You, you can, it really fools you into thinking you're in the cockpit. Um, and uh, I don't know how it does it. It's amazing. I would highly recommend it. Here's some footage of it in action. And um, I'll put a link in the description of where you can buy this from. Let me just tell you that the company themselves are very quick to respond. They're very quick on shipping. Um, and it's, uh, yeah, a class act. So um, let me know if you've got any questions in the comments. I'll try and answer them um, and check it out for yourself. Thanks, guys. Hope it's been useful and uh, see you in the next video. And uh, here we go with some footage of me using the jet seat. So we'll just get the engine started and I'll do this via here just for ease. There we go. Now instantly feeling the uh, vibrations from the engine in the jet seat, which is um, really it's subtle, you know it's there. And of course, as the engine sort of winds up and then comes back down to an idle, you feel that sensation. Um, very, very cool, very accurate. Let's put some flap down. Really nice. You know, you feel that um, and it feels very uh, accurate. Let's release the brakes and we'll do the takeoff roll. And as I increase the RPM, the vibrations on the back here um, and in the seat are much uh, greater and ever increasing as the throttle increases. Very, very realistic. And oops. Starting to feel the bumps now on the runway, which is really nice. You feel these in the front part, mostly, and they're 60 knots, so we'll raise the nose. And as soon as we come off into the air, let me just put the gear up. I'm not sure if that worked, uh, just because we don't have a gear on this aircraft, silly me. <laughs> but yeah, as I was saying, as soon as you come off the runway, it gets really, really smooth. And then again, when the flaps go up, um, again, very, very smooth indeed. And that's uh, a really nice contrast from the bumpy runway. Um, so we're still in takeoff power. So let me just come back off the throttle. And again, I'm feeling the vibrations of the engines become, um, it's a kind of wider sort of a, um, shake if that makes sense as we come off the RPM I guess the wavelengths are, are taller but further apart I don't know if that makes sense but anyway that's that's kind of what it feels like um, and we've got quite nice weather here in Innsbruck so we're not feeling any um, much turbulence you do feel the odd sort of bump um, as you hit the rough air um, but again nothing drastic right now because of the good weather. Again, just increasing the throttle to climb and really feeling that. And we've got carb ice. I don't know where the, there's the, that's the carb heat there. Let me just do that. Yeah, so um, really, really good. Now let's try and do a landing. You'll have to excuse the flying here. I'm just really interested in 
telling you the experience that I'm feeling. So we'll do some... Okay, now when I come off the throttle entirely, I don't know if you can hear that in my voice, but you hear the, the shake of the aircraft. Let's put some flap down. And again, really feeling that. You almost feel like the aircraft slowed down. It's amazing. I don't know how on earth they make you uh, feel that, but they do. And what we're looking for, obviously, as we touch down, is a nice firm confirmation that we are down on the ground and res resuming the bumpiness of the runway. And we've got a 737 trying to take off at the other end of the airfield. <laughs> Never mind, we'll ignore that for now. All right. So, here we go. I'll try and describe what it is I'm feeling. Okay, so as soon as you hit the, you hit, you feel the, uh, the wheels touch down, and then of course um, it all calms down a bit after that, and you feel the uh, the bumps in the runway. Um, really, really cool. I honestly can't fly without this now. Um, it's that good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a similar thing in a jet. So let me load this up, and I'll be right with you. Okay, so here we are in the 737, and um, it's uh, the software's changed over automatically to the jet engine um, effects. So uh, let's put some flap down. We won't do a full startup in this, just because it would take too long. But again, feeling the rumble of the flaps. You can't feel it as much as you do on GA aircraft, obviously, because the flaps are a lot further back, well, there's a 747 waiting to take off. Um, so yeah, uh, let's just make sure we're on flaps five, we are. Okay, so again, we're not doing things by the book, we're just uh, interested in showing off the jet seat. So I'll slowly um, advance the throttles. I'm starting to feel the rumble already, and the bumps of the nose wheel going over the lights. And as we go up to full throttle, getting much more intense. And if you can hear that in my voice. And wow, you really feel the power of these engines. Coupled with sound, it's uh, truly an incredible experience. There's 80 knots. And We'll rotate about now and again as soon as you lift off you get instant smoothness from the uh, the runway we'll go gear up we've got some wind shear going on here by the way I said we were in Innsbruck we're not in Innsbruck at all we're in uh, we're in Cape Town and it's a bit stormy so we'll go flaps up as well and I'm starting to feel um, what I'm guessing is turbulence in the seat, starting to feel sort of jolts and rumbles, other than just the engine, sort of coming through the engine, if that makes sense, which is uh, really cool. Now the flaps and the gears are now up, and there's, a, there's a, a smoothness that comes with that. But of course, we're getting bashed about a bit by the wind and the fact that we're still uh, take off power. So I'm gonna come back off the throttle a bit Things do calm down. It'll be interesting to see whether we get any turbulence through these clouds. Definitely feeling turbulence in the legs, in the back. Ooh. That's a really cool effect. Feeling a lot of turbulence. As it is. It's a very windy uh, day as well, so we're feeling, somehow feeling that as well. Incredible. And let's see if we can achieve some smooth flight once we get through the clouds. But um, yeah, it's quite a, a realistic experience. It really is. It's hard to describe. And as I've gone th 
full on the throttles again to uh, to get us through this cloud. I'm really starting to feel that um, through the seat, which is very very cool. One of the other benefits of this uh, solution is that it's extremely quiet, even when it's really going hell for leather. Um, so you know, if you want to do some flying and it's night time, you know, like, or like in my case, I don't want to um, annoy Prim or wake the baby up, then this is really quiet. You can hardly hear it at all. Ooh, I don't know if you can hear that in my voice now, but it's really starting to... Uh, wow. Okay. I'll tell you what, this, um, this cloud is pretty... Well, there we go. There's multiple layers of cloud. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to descend, but I'm going to turn on our speed brakes. And again, really feeling that. I don't know if you can hear that in my voice, but getting a lot of uh, vibration from the speed brakes there. Really, really cool effect. Okay, so the other thing that I wanted to try was to do a stall and to try and describe what that feels like. So I'm coming back off the uh, throttle and pitching up, trying to get this airspeed down. And we'll put a, we'll go to flat five, since we're below the flat five operating speed. And we'll do a full stall, really starting to feel those bumps in this cloud now. And as I pitch up, starting to feel the rumbling sensation really quite badly. And, oh, can you hear it in my voice? Whoa. And that's really, really quite realistic in the stall. The whole, I feel like the whole cockpit is shaking. My whole body is shaking. And of course, if you pull out of a dive like that, you get the sensation of G-force again through through the motors in the, in the seat. It's really really quite cool. Don't know how they do it. It's very clever programming, very clever design of uh, the motors in the right places while well, I'm trying to land. But yeah, you somehow feel the friction of the wind. It's a really strange thing to try and describe. Um, a bit high now. Okay, landing. And come off the throttles, you feel the calmness. And you feel that touchdown really nicely. And we're going to go with some reverses. Again, you feel the shaking of the reverses as you, wow, that's amazing. That really is cool. And you even feel, and then we're coming off the reverses, I was going to say you even feel the braking somehow. I don't know how they do that, but it's really quite amazing. And there we go, and of course we have to clean up, and you feel the flaps retracting back. Um, very subtle. You hear, you know, you feel the bumps on the taxiways. Very cool. I hope that's demonstrated in some way, guys. The power of this uh, jet seat and how good it really is. Um, I hope that's been useful. Really happy to answer any questions that you might have. Um, and uh, I would suggest you go out and get one immediately. Um, I can't fly without it now. Um, I'm looking forward to trying it in DCS World. And uh, I want to give a shout out to Thomas, um, who sent me out the jet seat to try. Um, thank you for enhancing my flight sim experience. Really do appreciate it. And uh, yeah, guys, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you all very soon. Take care.